Let's learn how to make a quiz game based on natural language processing, which is one of the forms of artificial intelligence. So in this quiz game, we have trained a natural language processing AI engine on these eight stories. The story of Snow White, Rabbit and the Lion, Nachiketas, Pranad, Arjuna and Eye of the Bird, Churning of the Ocean, Monkey and Crocodile and Cinderella. When the user uh, hits the green flag, the engine gets trained. The game is that the user has to type a few keywords from one of the stories listed here and the AI will guess which story you have in mind. So let's say I have the story of Cinderella in mind and hence I am talking about let's say glass slippers. So then the AI guesses that the story is from Cinderella. Let's say I have the story of Snow White in mind and I am saying dwarfs. So the AI guesses it's about Snow White. The story of Nachiketas is about this young boy who asks Indian Lord of Death, Lord Yama, to explain him about life and death. So if I type the keyword death, the AI guesses that it's the story of Nachiketas. Churning of the Ocean is an Indian story about lords and demons churning the ocean to find the nectar of life called Amrit. So if I say Amrit, it says churning of the ocean. Or if I say Lord Shiva, then it's also churning of the ocean. Whereas if I say Lord Vishnu, then it says it's the story of Pranad because Pranad is this young boy who's a devotee of Lord Vishnu. And Arjuna and Eye of the Bird is about focus and attention. So if I say focus, uh, the AI correctly guesses that the story is Arjuna and Eye of the Bird. So you can make a similar quiz game, not just for stories, but uh, it could be about songs or it could be about movies or even about topics of study like something from geography, science, maths, etc. To make this game, we are going to use PictoBlox, which is a free app based on Scratch. Once in PictoBlox, you go and add an extension and you add the natural language processing extension. The way this extension work, works is that you have to add text and define to which class this text belongs to. So for example, if I want to create class called Snow White, then I will say class is Snow White and I will add some text which is basically a summary of the story of Snow White. To create the summary, what you can do is you can use ChatGPT. In ChatGPT, I said summarize the story of Snow White in 100 words and I got this story. So then you just copy this story and you take it to PictoBlox and you add it to where it says this text. So this text is now uh, belongs to the class called Snow White. And then you get another add text command and whatever next story you want. So for example, in ChatGPT, uh, I asked ChatGPT to summarize the story of Cinderella. So I'm taking this story and I am saying that this is a class called Cinderella and this is the cut paste of the text. So for now, let's say we have only got two classes. You can keep adding more classes. And just like I am, I'm adding classes called stories. You could add a class uh, and create something, uh, a quiz on geography or a quiz about movies or a quiz about some other topic of study. Once we have added the classes, we put this command, train the text classifier, and we have an event block here. So I'm saying when green flag is clicked, add this, add this, and then train the text classifier. Once the natural language processing text classifier has been trained, then we can quiz the classifier. And so if I go back into NLP extension, I can say that get the class of some text. So I'm going to click the green flag. So now my text classifier is trained. And if I put some text here, let's say dwarf, which should belong to the class called Snow White, and I say, tell me the class, it correctly says Snow White. And if I say, uh, let's say glass slippers, which should be from Cinderella, I say, get the class and it says, uh, the class is called Cinderella. So our basic NLP engine is functioning fine. Now we just need to create an interface for the quiz. So for this, uh, I'm going into sensing and I'm asking the user. So for example, I'm saying here, type a keyword from a fairy tale and I will guess which story you have in mind. Of course, this particular text classifier right now will only guess Snow White and Cinderella. 
but you can keep adding more classes here and add like 10 stories and then let the user uh, give a keyword from any of these 10 stories. So once you have this, uh, so the way Scratch works is once you ask this question, whatever is the input given by the user, it will be saved in this variable called answer. So all we want to know is we want to get the class of this answer. So whatever the uh, input the user has given, we want to find out what is the class and then we just want to show the class. So to show the class, I'm going to go into looks and I'm going to say, say, get class of this answer and show it for two seconds. And that is it, your game is ready. So now if I say, if I press the green flag, it says type a keyword. So of course my keywords can only be about, you know, Cinderella or Snow White. So let's say I want to, I say poison apple. The story is of course Snow White here. And I say, I click and the AI is telling me it's Snow White. And let's say I click it again. Or what I can do is I can just go to control and put these two inside a forever block. So now we are talking about a dancing ball. So the story is Cinderella. Uh, or if you're talking about dwarfs, the story is Snow White. So that is how simple it is to create a NLP based quiz game. You just have to train the NLP into whatever topic you want to cover. And once it is trained, then you can create this kind of a quiz game. By the way, for the quiz that I created, all these images relating to the stories I put in my uh, text classifier, I generated these images using DAL-E. So in DAL-E, which is a text to image AI generator, you just type something. So if for Cinderella, if I want to say a young girl in a chariot made from pumpkin, cartoon look, and I hit the generate button, then this DAL-E text to image generator will generate some uh, options for me. So you have all these images and this is what I did. I took one of these images and I used it to create the sprites for my story. So here are all the images that I had generated earlier. So for example, for the rabbit and lion story, the prompt I gave was a lion looking at its reflection in a shallow well, a rabbit is standing next to it, cartoon, and this is the image I got. I got all these options, I chose one of these. I'm saying that there is so much AI that you can use now along with Scratch and create fun projects that are also very relevant and good learning experience for you. I hope you will give these a try. Thank you.